Stephanie Uncensored and I fell down and got knocked out and bit by the Outlander bug. Oh my god. By Diana Gabaldon. Yes, I got bit by the bug. Oh, and it's not even about the fact that Jamie and Claire are amazing. Um, the story is like amazing. I didn't think that I would enjoy a time traveling historical fiction novel, but I am so drawn in and so sucked into this story now. So, 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 so drawn into this book. I, my only thing is, is that it is such an undertaking. Oh my goodness. So there are eight books already out. She's writing the ninth. There is the television series that out that's out, which by the way, I binge watched for like Mother's Day. Um, well, over the weekend. Well, the Friday, last Friday. Um before I finish reading this and actually I haven't finished reading it or listening to it yet but I've already caught up and I'm like give me more give me more oh my god I need more 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 I, want more! I love 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 that the series the television series is going along with the books and yes there are little intricacies that are a little different but so far it, that it's staying with, ugh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, ugh, but it's such an undertaking. It really is. And I don't think that I could have actually um, read this book because, yeah, there is no way I would have been able to read all of the Scottish words or, yeah, the Scottish, Scottish words, I guess, the Scottish language, Gaelic, Gaelic, that's what it is, Gaelic language that's in there, because I actually downloaded the ebook of it, because it was on sale, and I started, I like wanted to catch up to see sort of where I was, because this is 28 discs, 28, oh my god, 28 discs, that is 30, 2.5 hours worth of listening. Oh, oh my gosh. I couldn't even listen to this in an entire day. That I mean 32 hours, yeah, there's 24 hours in a day, but there is absolutely no way that I could like just sit and listen to it. I just just wouldn't be possible. Just would not be possible. I think I've been listening to this for about a week and a half now. Yeah, I'd have to look on Goodreads to see when I started this. But every step of the way, I'm like, yes, yes, give me more, give me more. Oh my gosh, Jamie is like a beast, is a beast. The poor boy was a virgin, and he was a beast after he got some. <laughs> wow, and then Claire was just giving it up. She was like, oh yeah, I'm down for it, bring it on. So that was, that was crazy. I actually got over the fact that it was in the 18th century um, and they were all dirty and craziness. Ah, the bed bug scene was the best. I cringed on that one. Um, so yeah, if you get a chance and you're not ready to undertake this big large book because the books are probably just as thick as this freaking CD case of listening to it. But if you, if you just, if you want to get bit by the bug of Outlander, do it. Do it. Go to your library. Check it out. Because most of them have them on CDs. Yes, they do. Mm. Take the time. Listen to it. And... This narrator, oh my god, she's amazing. 
amazing, 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 amazing. And she has narrated all of the books that are out on CD right now. And I oh, am just going to be so excited. So excited. The hubby picked up the next book, which is Dragonfly in Amber, I believe. So excited to like start listening to that one. That one is 33 discs. 33 CDs that I'm going to have to listen to. I have no clue what I'm going to be able to listen to that, though. I have, like, six other audiobooks I need to listen to. <sighs> but I really, really want to listen. want to continue with this series. Didn't know it was going to be such a time-consuming thing. But then again, I should have known with how large these books are. But regardless, I'm giving Outlander five stars. And such a huge surprise for that and it also completes my one of my challenges for the 2016 Goodreads um, reading challenges for the historical read of re historical nonfiction or fiction and I'm super excited about that um, that's one more challenge down for the month for the year yay um, yeah go Get bit by the Outlander bug. You won't regret it. Check it out. That's Outlander by Diana Gobelin. Yay! Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.